Alrighty, people. I literally have to record this entire section again. Why? Because these guys did me dirty. My freaking capture card did me dirty, bro. Yeah, my capture card did me dirty, so. I'm literally having to record this all over again. I will be buying a whole new capture card to do 4K videos. So, um, the others aren't back yet. Okay. Luckily, I know where everything is, so we can just speed through most of this. Definitely seen better days, though. Ah, what's a few cracks between friends? It's almost 50 years old. This can't just be a fancy house. I'm gonna go out on a limb and agree with you there. The village is practically drowning in a sea of black robes, after all. So what if it is? Well, it would add weight to the rumor that Mojo used to conduct experiments here. <laughs> now it's just a rumor. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Cash card kind of shut itself off and everything, so. Let's lower that a bit because that's a little too loud there. But yeah. So, I'm having to buy a new one. Um, the rest of this playthrough will basically be in HD until I get my new cash card next week. Huh. It's a kid's clubhouse. Oh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. But nay bother, I'll protect you. Uh... Hello, and welcome to Shinra Manor. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what it is you hope to find here, but I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Everything of value is gone, but please feel free to poke around. Ah! It's not him! Just an AI caretaker! That said, this facility has always had a place in my heart. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> that was a sore one. Huh? Don't walk into the light, Barrett. <clears throat> that shit hit. It's gonna get it. I think we're trapped in here. <laughs> like rats in a cage. No squeezing through those bars. Huh? That duck, however, might just fit a cat. Sit tight, I'll have you out in a jiffy. Yeah, so. For the majority of this section, you do play as a. Uh, as 
Cascade Sith, so... Okay. Let's take care of this idiot. This cat's got Check with this. The cat of the hour. <laughs> Just you leave the problem solving to me, eh? You're in safe pause now. And just to get the other weapon here. Okay, sir. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I didn't finish uh, getting all the stuff for this one. So. <laughs> the mere fact that I literally find another one right afterwards. So, I'm gonna finish getting this, and we'll get this one, and then we'll get the ability for this one afterwards. But, that's the plan. This one. You need this. Take up. in the world?
You literally could have fit through that. Anyway. beauty with this is I get to blitz through most of this. see this one here. Uh, you got something new. The wee work out. This one... The 
trick to this one. You're gonna have to move this here. Yeah, we just gonna ignore how poorly you lifted that. As you can see, the marks on the floor there it tells you where to put this. Essentially, you gotta put it there. or anything up here, so... These enemies I haven't seen since Crisis Core. For this, the trick to this is you're gonna have to in power generator lockdown protocol engaged insufficient loco administer accelerant to red generator. Yeah, you need to at least get um. You need three of those boxes in that thing in order to get past through this next part. Where was that, bro? Where was you aiming, sir? I, I hate this thing. Like, dog, all you had to do was aim here. Boom. Increasing. Additional 
tolerance required to meet operational standards. Got that in there. Cut off my ability to use magic. That's great. Yes, I did. Boom. I can't remember what I gave him. It is what it is. Um... Can't 
Arthur's pain. of this. Insufficient power. Generator on standby. Oh, sounds about right. Switching ventilation system to maintenance mode. Enabling duct access. Please commence on-site inspection. According to this, that generator's somewhere upstairs. Well, nothing else for it. Back into the air duct to go. Sure you'll be okay? Positive. I'll be in and out before you know it. Don't have too much fun without me. it. box over there so oh come on for a sec. Alright, one quick sec. Alright, alright about that. I had to take a leak just now. Alright. Oh, 
Honestly. That's why I hate these things, bro. That thing will literally hit you with like a one-shotter. Like, it, it's so annoying. <laughs> so essentially, you gotta beat them quickly. Actually, as a matter of fact, hold on. I'm supposed to look at this right now. Actually, hold on. By two levels. Yeah, this mess us effort. gave me more. Oh, let's change that to Ramu. I remember to do that on my other save file. You're actually supposed to use these to hit that again to open that duct, but 
Apparently I did it while the battle, so... Works out. Okay. Or not. Why did it lie to me and say it was open? Oh my gosh. I... I just destroyed all those boxes, so now I gotta do this again. The unfortunate thing is I gotta take these things out. Hades Amulet. Who did I give that to? I gave it to Cloud. Magic defense, but he got a whole lot more. Or did I? Or no, I think I gave me gave it to Yuffie. Yeah, I think I gave it to Yuffie, not Cloud. Crap. This one anyway. Uh, either way. I'll change this up a little. But anyway. Okay. So. I gotta take these guys out. Oh my god, really? 
I really hate those things, man. And they're only a challenge because it's Kate Sith. If I literally had, um... In the bro. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. They're trying their hardest. What? Oh, this section is so annoying. They take forever to go out, man. You're gonna regret this! <laughs> I'll make mince meat of you! Crazy. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. <sighs> like they won't die. I hate, and I really hate enemies that take more than they should to take, to go. Oh, 
Boxes ought to do the trick. Now, let's see.
for operation. Additional cargo required. This mini game is just like really annoying. All right, now there's a boss we gotta fight, and he's very annoying, to say the least. This guy is just getting on my nerves. I did not do enough damage to that. He really self-destructed himself. Bruh, what? You see the cheese I gotta deal with with this section? Oh my gosh. I was winning that fight and the man self-destructed. Oh, I can't believe that mess. Come on, man. Time 
I hate you so much right now. Really? You gotta be kidding me. annoying. better for a wee lie down. So then, onwards and upwards?
mission complete. Resuming operation. Okay, so this next part, um, luckily I already know the code to this. Ah, oh, for crying out loud, what is it this time? You'll require the password to proceed. <laughs> you again. Now, now, no need for violence. I come in peace, and to abet your escape as well. Uh, like how you do. Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. I wrote them down in this very room, but where? Well then, no time to waste. <laughs> So, the passwords are behind these crates over here. However, because I already know what the password is, we're just gonna move it along. I'm just gonna get this chest here. But yeah, you just have to move. As you can see there, that's 36, 10, 59, and 97. So, go here. for this. No, no, I did not. Of course not. Because I blazed right through this. Alright, well, it is what it is. Oh, 
not forgetful of me. This area is off-limits to any unauthorized personnel. It's where I've been keeping a rather unruly failure. <laughs> Got him. I think we're almost done. Get ready. That'll do. Here it coming. Here it comes. I'm coming for you. Making the dream work, am I right? What do I have? Sure, it's Ron Phoenix. Thanks for coming to help. He's not done.
Okay. Did not go out at all. Okay, you just doing too much, sir. Jato would have done more damage. That is so funny. Wow. Shit. Be right there. This kind of thing. Excellent work dispatching that seed. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. All well-earned praise aside, 
Since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again, exterminators. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. Dragged in. Hey there. Uh, hmm? So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense tuning on past mistakes. Uh, right. This particular section, you would think they would go in there first, but no, you gotta go in here first. a bit grim, no? Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm hmm. The authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> the 
you're clearly not Murasaki. Explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it. But there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful, he could destroy the planet, unless we stop him. I see. Then I have one more sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit, Mr. Murasaki. Don't mind if we do, I guess. Yeah, and that's our little intro to Vincent. Alright. Cloud, my boy. Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? Sephiroth literally threw us the whole plan over here. But we're gonna go over here.
I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any. Ah! <laughs> don't haunt me, please. I can explain. Drop it. <laughs> Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. I've had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I.
I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end? Your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Are 
Hey, Space Cadet. Come on. That was a great way to introduce, um... To introduce Vincent. Okay, that was kind of pointless. All right, um... Okay, that's everything we can do from here. Think there might be top secret material hidden somewhere here? Uh, that all you ever think about? Well, excuse me for trying to be helpful. Coming up. And now we're caught up from what I recorded from. So, here goes on. Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for you. Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof. Well, it ain't like it could go down. So, <laughs> where is it? Hi. About that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now if you really wanted. Hmm? But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The Gold Saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. We trust you. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Well, if we gotta, once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. Yeah. Those of you who played the original, um, you don't even find out that the Keystone is a, um, is that the gold saucer? You actually have to go out of your way to find a town that where a guy literally tells you that. So it's neat that they literally just tell you it in the, in the cutscene, so you don't have to like literally guess. But yeah, all right. I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch anything yet. Um, over there. Alright. 
Now we got one more. We got one more fight to go. And I'll make this very quickly. What's this? Understand, I'm defying my boss to be here, because I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's cut it one last time! He's mine! This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're on the home stretch! You ready? Try this. Degradation. My 
friend. That won't happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah. Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message. A declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers, and in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, Put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch! This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wu Tai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Exactly is this Saruf? The invisible man? Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn? What's his name? Glenn Lodbrock, ma'am. Ex soldier. P Zero class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Rador on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. 
A spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lotbrock took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <clears throat> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. Pity about Saruf would be good to put a face to the name. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the Salsa? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kitsef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Look! Smoke! Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride! Check it out. How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. Yeah, I forgot the thing was going through my controller speaker. But now we are finally caught up on what I last recorded. So. Hopefully, it did everything right. But, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. A lot happened. We got to find out our next destination, which will very much inevitably lead us to the temple. Uh, we got our first look at Vincent and that crazy boss fight. Which is crazy because that's literally his uh his limit break. So it'll be interesting how we had, get to use that in the next game. Um and yeah, and then you also have the war that's starting, which truly won't really show its face until basically the next part. Yeah, you know, like the part part three of this whole trilogy. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. This episode. Then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and share.
new to my channel and enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel. Follow my social medias in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode. We are closing in on finishing this game. Which, uh, good thing, because the friggin' Final Fantasy 16's uh, DLC comes out this Thursday, so we'll see if I can actually finish it by then. But uh, until then, you guys have a good one, and uh, deuces.